Hey guys, Fear Toxic 123 here, and we are back playing Life is Strange Remastered once again. If you guys haven't seen my last comment I posted on part 4, which is my last video basically, I said expect part 5 to be in the remastered version because Square Enix recently released the 60 FPS and some fixes for the game. So from now on, we're going to be playing the remastered version. Uh, if we see some graphical issues and uh, bugs, it is what it is, but I figured, you know, we might as well play the remastered version because it's obviously better graphics, uh, new uh, character design and stuff, uh, better than the standard. But yeah, that's basically about it. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, is uh, I had to replay um, episode one to get all the choices because where I left off uh, was at the main campus. That's when I was doing the remastered version, but then I switched to the standard edition, so I had to redo it. So I basically had to uh, play through that whole episode again. I did that on my own time, uh, own time, obviously. But yeah, but if we go into video settings, look at that, performance mode, high frame rate. We could also do high resolution, but <laughs> we don't want that because uh, this game can barely even get 60 FPS, so we want high frame rate, which is honestly, it's disappointing but it is what it is i guess uh if we go to extras uh the choices you can see now one thing i found really interesting is that since this is the remastered version i guess people are already familiar with the story so there are more uh well there are higher percentages in certain situations and uh certain uh choices that people chose instead of the standard edition maybe them playing it for the first time so if you look at the right, uh, you took the blame for Chloe, that's 16%, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I know for a fact that I can't be wrong on this because I physically remember it, is that that was the higher percentage in the standard version. Now, I came out of hiding to intervene, that's a 52%. I remember that being like somewhere between 30. So obviously a lot of people went with this choice. Um, so I, I guess I did the right thing, even though I guess it doesn't matter, you just uh, had to find a hiding spot no matter what he he would have caught you david but yeah there also might be some different uh statistics in the other choices i'm not familiar because i can't remember each number you know but uh yeah that's about it also uh mrs grant's petition uh, i remember that uh having a lower percentage with me because um i signed it but it was somewhere between like 40 and the people that didn't sign was higher but in the remaster version people that did sign is higher the people that didn't sign is lower so I guess I did the right thing there because I remember giving that option shit. But uh, yeah, that's basically about it. So without further ado, guys, let's go into episode two, Out of Time. And from that teaser we saw at the end with Chloe getting stuck in the rail tracks and the train coming and with Chloe nowhere, not Chloe, Max to nowhere be seen, this is going to be interesting. staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. The 
Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Damn, she really does look tired, doesn't she? Now, right from the bat, I can see a difference with her face. I really do. Chloe texted me. Okay, uh, what's this? Oh, we got something for Rachel. Got also, Jesus, go to Warren. Yeah, we already saw that, I remember. Even with Alrighty. all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like, no time has passed. So I already went, uh, I already, uh, let me turn that off. So I can talk. <laughs> so we already saw these in episode one, I don't need to go through them again. I mean, we can check the computer, there may be new shit, let's see. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Oh my god. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should oh, she's, uh, she's, uh, researching, like, uh, controlling time and stuff, which is smart. I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. What, are we gonna have a Halloween party? That sounds fun, but I don't know. Take a selfie. No smiling. Take your power seriously. Man, that's right in the morning. I don't have the energy for that shit. Who takes a selfie in the morning? No offense, Max. Uh... Should we water it? Wait, I already watered it. I don't want to overdo it, right? I, I don't, I'm not going to water it. What the hell? Do you guys see that? Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. I could have sworn I saw someone out there. What the fuck? I swear I saw someone out there. That's weird, man. Okay. It's like now I saw I someone peeking over the bush. I don't know if you guys saw that or it's just my imagination. What the fuck? Let me see. I don't know. It's like I saw someone run past. I don't know. All right, um. Whoa, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. All right, let's leave the room. I better not leave without my shower supplies. Oh, right, my bad. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. You have to take your phone with you? Well, my mom sent me something. Hey honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Yeah, see? Yeah, I already, I already watered it. Well, that was yesterday, so I think we're good, right? I, I, I don't want to risk it. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Of Fine, course not. I won't disturb you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Kate. Ow. Who did I, who did this? Well, obviously, who the hell am I saying who did this? I have an idea, but again? Kate, you in here? Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. Oh, okay. Did I listen? Wait. Hold on. I knew something hit her in the head. I heard her scream or something. Okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. 
It's the second time I saved you. Wait, does that mean I have to- Oh, I have to redo this again. Shit. Yeah, okay. Uh, hey, what the hell are you doing in here? No boys allowed. Oh, I guess she, okay. My bad. Sub, Dana. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not <laughs> big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? I mean, oh god. Sure. Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. I don't know if this was in the the standard edition, but Max looks tired, like obviously waking up and stuff. If that's something they added in uh, this remaster, then that's a really great touch because she has that morning face going on right now. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Cheerleader outfit? I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Oh my god. Don't say that out loud, dork. I swear to god she got more subscribers. I remember it being somewhere around 2000, right? That would be fun to put skulls and ghosts all over Blackwell. Like I could pull this look off. <laughs> Hello, Victoria. And that is kind of hot, honestly. Alright, uh... Contraceptive pills. Hmm. Makeup. Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. Max, you don't need makeup. You're cute the way you are. This is both sad and pathetic. Logan. Alright, um... I guess we'll talk to them. I have to take a shower, right? Yeah, I'll just Hello, talk to Juliet. everyone. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? What? What do you mean that's not cool or why? Where's the answer between yes or no? This is my first time hearing about it. Why? why I don't know. I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Well, hold on, hold on. What video? Did I miss something? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Well, hold on. Sure. Talk to you later. I want to watch the video because what the hell is the video? Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? Yeah, I caused I was that. Riveted by that weird <laughs> snow flurry yesterday. It I had to have been me. Serious or not. It had to. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Ah, uh, is this your way of trying to set me up with him or some shit? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Okay. I don't need to talk to Alyssa. I just saved her. We're fine. This is the bathroom? The showers, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's just the board. Let's go in. Oh! Hey, Kate. That's Kate, right? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Talk to her. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Absolutely. Anytime. That guy has issues. 
Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of The October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. I like what Max is wearing, man. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to sound like a dick, but like, ask her about the video, because I don't know what this video is all about. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck COVID. Tampon dispenser. I'm good to flow. Thanks. How old is Auto Max power? actually? I'm so not there. 18? 17? Go just take a shower? Oh, are we gonna see some shit? Uh oh. I don't have to block out anything. There's no nudity in this game, is there? No, I think we're good. A hot shower in the morning probably feels so good. Uh oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. You still have paint on your Looks face. Like Wash it. it off. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. <laughs> good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. Bitch. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> How is this fun? I don't get it. Seriously. Fuck you guys. Okay. Does this does this video have to do with that freaking crumpled paper that got thrown at her in that uh, in the classroom? When episode one started, I thought that was like a joke or something, but she said tongue action? What the fuck? I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Can I erase this? Yeah, erase, man. Take this shit off. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Is it wrong of me to say I kind of want to watch it now? <laughs> I'm really, I'm really curious. Who the hell is here? Is someone taking a shower in here? Yeah. Alright, alright. Uh, Rachel is a whore. She probably is. I just don't know the truth yet. Kate, you in here? Uh, before I go in there, let me get my book for her or whatever she said. Oh, you bitches, I swear to God. This has got to be fucking... It's obviously Courtney, Taylor, and Victoria doing this. Nice. <laughs> you, you fucking bitch. You're not gonna open, huh? Oh, she probably left. Yeah, she left. Fine, I won't disturb you. Why? She doesn't have a problem disturbing others. Who gives a fuck? What the hell did no they do? Way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? What does that say? Nobody After messes with me, Kate's bitch? Book. Oh, that's not them. That's gotta be Nathan. Oh, shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. I should've just kept my mouth shut. Well, now I know what type of school this fucking is, dude. Uh... Yeah, get dressed. 
Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Yeah, I want to choose her outfit. the same exact suit for every day of the week. No, change your... And he couldn't even rewind time. I'm sick of you wearing this, Chloe. Like, Max, I mean Max. No book here. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. That's all right. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. All right, take it now. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. All right. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Yes, you do. Private number. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Definitely Nathan. Oh, this is her diary? Man, I, I kind of do want to read this. What the hell? Didn't I check? Oh, it's just still going to have a star over it? Okay. Oh, because oh, I think I just keep on getting no, stuff. I'm getting an You in there? Yes, I'm here. I cut off her dialogue, but she said I had to have been Nathan. Okay, I'm so sorry. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Damn, dude. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Hold on, I have to read this. Kate, your father and I... Oh, okay, this is the mom talking. Your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you in some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. Fuck you. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Oh, that's kind of disturbing. She has a rabbit? What? Oh, I gotta see that. Kate really has a doting father. Tissues? Yeah, she's been crying. Tears. She's going to go through boxes. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Okay, Max, we have to put an end to this, seriously. We can take a photo, don't kill it. Oh, that, that looks so cute. Ouch. She left out amnation. Alright, I have your book, Kate. Hold on, what's that? Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. Um, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Oh, well, for one, I hate fucking bullies. But he said he wasn't bullying her, I mean... I don't know what to think of him, honestly. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Vortex Club? Okay, I want to ask her about the video, but, um... Yeah, let me ask her about, about it, hold on. this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? No, what type of question is that? I won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I wouldn't know because I, know I haven't watched the video. Kate, but <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just tell playing. Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. <gasps> Wait a second. That's 
awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. She was drugged. I swear to God, she got drugged, didn't she? Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? Yes. I remember... I remember getting sick. Yeah. Nathan? Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. That lying fuck. Well, did you go, did actually? You go? Hold on. Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Fuck, man, this just really took a turn for the worst. I'll put it in there. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. He certainly did not help you. Should I go to the police? You might as well. Yeah, go for the fucking police. Yeah, no, no. Chloe, no, no, no. I even heard it from Chloe, dude. Nathan drugged her, put her in her fucking room, and she barely got away. Go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police. And also Principal Wells. No. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Wells ain't gonna do shit, man. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious I literally told my kid had in the ba a gun in the He'll bathroom, he didn't do shit. Didn't even look into it. I'm sorry, Kate. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. I don't... Let them drag me into it. I don't care. Well, what the fuck is Nathan gonna do? He Keep my mouth shut or what? You're gonna kill me? Honestly, he probably will if we're being honest, but... Whatever. Alright, I, uh... Chloe. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> she was doing it individually, you know? She's definitely getting impatient. Okay. Alright, leave the girls' dormitories. Is that Warren? That is Warren. He is right there. <laughs> 